and you're listening to Bionicle Commentary Central. Like a good neighbor, the BCC is there. That's the best you have? I have said what I have said. <laughs> it is Friday, April 8th, and you're listening to episode 47 of Bionicle Commentary Central. Here with me today, I have several people, way more than last week, including Clenda. Hello. not limited to. <sighs> Oh, yeah, I haven't been here for uh, How are you? Um, how are you since uh, that? Because you, you've been away for a while, haven't you? Yeah, I have for various reasons that totally weren't my fault. I'm pinning the blame on other people. But, well, yeah, I'm glad to be back. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of Clenda, we also have Lena. I guess. Hi, pair. you peoples. Hmm. Guess we can have <laughs> my trademark greeting in my own videos and such. Speaking of trademark Blame greetings, Tassica. I believe Leo also has a trademark greeting. I do? I do? You yes. haven't used it in forever, you haven't, though. Yeah, you haven't used it in a while. Oh, uh, that's right. Uh, salvete mi amici. No. <laughs> it's the universal greeting. It's not that hard. Except if, if you're boss man, it is hard, but it's it's not it, that hard. It isn't that hard. Wait, wait, I think I can get the universal greeting right. Okay, now. then try it. Ba why? <laughs> you already messed up. I'm going to die. <laughs> It's just ba- Never mind. Well, anyway, we have Leo here. It's just ba weep grana weep ninny bong. It's not that hard. Oh, and we also have boss man. Yeah, he's here too. I guess maybe. Yep, I'm here. Yeah, and uh, but we also last have... but not least, we uh, we have a special guest, and I think he should introduce himself. Hi everyone, I'm LJ from the TTV <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's really great to be here, guys. <laughs> Blue pins. I'm done. Red pins. <laughs> no, sadly, we could not get the actual LJ. So we got He's LJ not actually from LJ. The this board. is political slime. Hi, we don't need I'm no stick in LJ. And I'm not LJ. All the time. Just all not the LJ time. all the time. <laughs> so you're LJ part of the time. Exactly, I'm a part-time LJ. Yep. <laughs> Being LJ is a very tiring job. Do you think we can really have one person do it? I can't wait for this podcast to be published. Hey, have no you worn the me. mask? <laughs> have you worn the mirror? Oh, you should totally do that and go to a convention or something. I, I have I have not worn a mirror. Ooh, I have worn yeah, a... Speaking of LJ and TTV and all, I've got an announcement to make. It looks like I'm going to be going to Brick Fair this year. Hey! Yay! Nice! Okay. I'm possibly going, I don't know yet, because, I mean... The devil's in the details. I've just but... got some last things look yeah. good to get around, but it's looking pretty good. I'll, I'll yeah, be, I might be able to I'll go. I don't know yet. I'll be here in the south while you're up there. Yes, but speaking <laughs> of that, the vlog came out today where I actually met up with Leo down there. Oh, cool. I haven't seen it yet. I have not gotten to see it yet because I just got home from school. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should have seen it. You had it on the channel. It was on the channel unlisted for like three days now. Shush. I was be... <laughs> Wait, you guys got face reveals? You aren't going to... Artificially Photoshop your faces. Or did you just yeah. Photoshop your faces? For those faces of you who don't know, there. me and Leo met up in at the downtown Disney Lego store a few weeks ago, and we took some video of us spending a lot of money. Cause you're a tourist. <laughs> you spent more money than yes, I, I did. Yes, I spent more money than Leo did. I completed my collection of Bionicle 2015 Winter Wave and Bionicle 2016 Winter Wave sets. Nice. Good for you because my target is still being stupid, and I cannot find. Yeah, they weren't at my speaking. target or any store around here either. So that's why I had to go to Florida to get them. Speaking yeah. of uh, 2016 Winter Wave, uh, so a oh, while yeah. ago I brought I up saw that one of the sets many, I built. Many, I got around there. If you guys watched the video, notice was an Uxar. Well, I was building that uh, Uxar yeah. today, and he, he did not come with Uxar's head. It came with a Kitar head. It was the wrong shade <laughs> of transparent <laughs> green. Oh man! <laughs> Hit on what? So yeah, a well while ago played, I Lego. said that there Very were well several quality issues with this wave of sets. That still holds true. Mm-hmm. I did not of, encounter I had a missing this part many quality in, uh, issues, nor did I see this many quality issues in 2015. By this, time it has of the been year. strange. Like I said a while back, you might recall I had a missing part in uh, Kopaka and Milam. Jeez. But I didn't. Huh. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's like Ford. His Liwa had really uh, loose joints, and my yeah. Liwa's joints were fine. Firstly, Lego hates Ford. Secondly, my keytar was actually perfectly good, even though it was really bad. Keytar is a defunction. Defunctions. Defunctions isn't good. <laughs> <word. laughs> Defunction. Dysfunction. <laughs> Dysfunctions. <laughs> Slime, you're what? a guest here today. Let's have your take on this. Have you had any issues with quality in any of the Bionicle 2016 sets you've gotten? Um, to be completely honest, I haven't. I've gotten hmm. a few sets so far, namely uh, 
Onua, Tarek, Kitar, Uxar, Liwa. Well, you promptly threw off a cliff. And Uwak. <laughs> um, but I haven't had any major issues. I mean, other than the fact that Kitar is a terrible set. Um, <laughs> but I don't think that's a quality issue that's so right. much as... Uh, Design. Yeah. I got Kitar because I felt bad for him. He's on love. I mean, like, yeah. we've got stuff like Kopaka's new shoulders that are, like, only connected by one pin, so they wobble, yeah, and it's, like, scary. that's, again, a design issue, not a like, quality issue, but it's just well, my worry about Well, it's a design issue in that up. it could stress the piece so much that it could break. Yeah, I'm not mm-hmm. quite sure what Lego was thinking. But hey, it's a red pin. You got dozens of those. <laughs> well, it's not oh, the red pin of, that's gonna break, uh, red it's the technic- pins, I was building Gali the other day, It. oh, by the way, she's not near as bad as Ford said uh, she Oh, no, is. she's terrible. She <laughs> sucks. It was actually a really nice set. She's Golly has black pins just and not red pins. I was surprised. You didn't know that? No, I did not know That's that cool. until I built it. I love black pins. I shamelessly stole some for myself, Mark. <laughs> yeah, Look, Golly, 2015 Master Race. That was such a great set, too, because there's black pins. I haven't seen black pins in years. Nothing's since, like, um, have they been... Mari, New Nup- I haven't Nuparu. seen black pins since before the war. They, they've actually been <laughs> the there, apparently, in Technic war. sets. I don't know which ones. I've just heard offhand that they have been. So, like, they're there. They're just not in Bionicle or construction sets in general. Well, now there are some. There, I feel like the pin pieces, colorings have gotten much people. better this year. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, there there is also the addition of the yellow axles in Liwa. Mm-hmm. The well, yellow they were also in the Wally strange. set. Were they? I, I haven't seen the Wally set. I don't have any. Yeah, they work well with Liwa. I don't want to see them on any sets that don't include yellow. Well, there's, there's one of those on cool. Kita, isn't there? Or at least one. Yeah, there's at least one. Kitar kind of has yellow already, though, with his yellowish-green, cute-colored yeah. blades. <laughs> cute-colored blades. Kitar has too many colors. <laughs> the stone sets have too many colors. Oh, so now you're hitting on I elements. Like Pohatu, That's elements. Pohatu's one of my favorites. Yeah, I, I like Pohatu, like his form, but... Um, Not the best of them. That chest printing... That is a glaring quality issue if you own uh, Pohatu. Yeah, that's just really strange how his new it's, symbol is yeah, printed on every single set. <laughs> I haven't gotten him yet, so I can't I still say. have not heard of any corrections being made to it. I'm surprised. Maybe it wasn't a misprint. <laughs> Maybe they well, did that then, if it wasn't a misprint, well, then why, why is it they the same on, on his box packaging? and his mask, but not his chest? Yeah, that's another uh-huh. thing. I haven't gotten him, so I, I'm not really able to say anything Yeah, it's else. odd. It's odd. I mean, I don't really feel it takes away too much from the set, I mean, honestly. It, it doesn't, but it's like... But, it's but these just are odd. the questions that try men's souls. <laughs> yes. In the course of BCC's history, the people of LEGO have rallied bravely whenever the rights of us have been threatened. Today, a new <laughs> crisis has arisen. Speaking the, of quality, though, this week, I have, we have received an email from... Be awesome. Are you done, Clenda? <laughs> <laughs> this week we received well we didn't receive it this week we received it a while ago but we received an email from tim you might remember him as photo brick studios who oh, guest cool. starred on our podcast a few weeks ago oh, nice. a few weeks. that was like a few months ago man <laughs> hey a few can be anything more than two it's two thousand years that's a few <laughs> yes anyway no. here's what he, no <laughs> here's what he says Hey there, BCC crew. Hello. Hello I'll add that myself. Hey, hey person. Been a while since I've talked to you guys. Been busy with school and whatnot, but Aren't found something you guys might want to look at. And here, he links to, and I've seen these going around the community, is the recent bootleg Bionicle sets that have been going around. Mm-hmm. Now, the strange thing about these bootlegs is they actually look kind of cool. Are they the what recolored they like? ones with the, like, the, the, the recolored I have not masks? seen these. Yes. Uh, Here, I'm linking to uh, Gallery for all you guys to catch up I with. I thought you were saying Gallery. And I wanted to kind of discuss these sets, as he suggests. They oh, actually look cool. kind of cool. Oh, yeah, these ones. Oh, oh yeah, those. they're so cool. Oh, yeah. oh these are new. Are those are oh, these hello. official? No, they're no. not official. Like I said, they're bootlegs. Oh, okay. Now, they're like a combination <laughs> of uh, Invasion from Below and the Protectors. Yeah. Except they have protector masks on mini fig heads. <laughs> yeah. Oh my and gosh. it's perfect. Wow. So yeah, in the first picture, we have all like the mech type things. They are pretty cool for bootlegs. I gotta give them that. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Like, I really like this design on the mask. This protect your water mask. Yes. Oh yeah, that's in the next page though, isn't it's it? It's silver with blue, and it's my two favorite things together. Also, they have it's an orange skull spider. Oh, Something I, I like that. Would have gotten. It's like a golden. I Wait, what? Like color? I think they just took a golden An orange spider, skull spider. It's gold. Oh, wow. Which is what Lego should have used for the hero pack instead of the blue one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really like the 
design. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're terrible quality. I wouldn't buy them. It looked pretty cool. Like, yeah, the silver protector of water. That's a pretty yeah. cool set. Like, as the dual color. Oh, yeah. Layers, I, yeah. So. I mean, get that just from mask and yeah. nothing else. No, I'm not going to buy them at all because the part quality will be I terrible. I actually want to get that. And plus, you, you don't want to support this kind of piracy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Would that they were not bootleg. <laughs> I would only get that one just for the mask. The parts I would throw in the trash. They'd probably be all like chemically <laughs> treated and stuff. Well, Still the mask would them. probably be trash too. I bet it's really loose. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> Don't crush his dreams. And then they have like an Ikimu Don't who comes my by fun. himself, but his gold looks orange. Ikimu is now protector oh, yeah, of stone. So, like, yeah. Bootleg Ikimu. <laughs> protector of stone. So. I wonder if that was his original element. And then they have like all the turret protectors. Uh, they're based off the other yeah, invasion from below things that would stud launchers. Well, they're kind of cute little <laughs> The thing about these though is that unlike most of the knockoffs that we see of these Lego sets, they're actually somewhat different. Yeah, they're actually yeah. somewhat, they actually decide, hey, let's hire a designer this time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that that's what they used the entire budget for it on, but I have to say it does yeah. look... What do you think of these sets, like Slime? Um, I, I've seen these floating around a bit of the community. Um, I especially like, I don't know why, but I especially like the Protector of Jungle set with those green hands and the oh, shoes. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's, it's cool. Yeah. It's such a unique design that just, like, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the, ch the chest, but, you know, <laughs> ignoring that oh. problem, you know, it's I, I, I like it. These yeah, are pretty cool, and the, and the turret designs are also pretty unique and interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think most of them are a variation of an invasion from below set, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, they're yeah, they're like all the, the variation. But the, they didn't have a stud launcher not... invasion from below. It's original, but not quite that of it. So yeah, they're variations. Yeah, they're not really like uh, a little mini gun. Exactly the same. But yes, yeah, stud <laughs> You know, okay. You know what's the most ridiculous part of all of these, though, mm -hmm. is that that mask of creation is not even a piracy that's a direct copy <laughs> it is not even a redo of the mask of creation it is just the mask of creation lego's exact graphic that they ripped from their website well, oh that's terrible Whoa. wait where well, that's what oh wait wait, wait wait hang do. on are there any minor spelling mistakes in here yeah there are there's not that no I can't no really look see, see they misspelled the, word. the word they misspelled the word gullible where? bionicles oh, well, oh. if it's mis we, we gotta move on we, we we can't spend any more time with this it's not worth it it's not worth our time. You, you don't want to hear more about the super protection. <laughs> no, they they made a minor spelling mistake. They're, they're, they're terrible now. They're terrible. Just get them out of my sight. I don't like <laughs> well, them. Oh, Nazi to the extreme. That was a drastic change of opinion. Oh yeah, that I didn't notice that their names. This <laughs> mini protection <laughs> ice fighting machine. Oh okay. Oh, well, oh, that's the case. No. Mm -mm. No. Not 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 paying it. No. Super what are the other ones? Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're called, called the, protectors. It, oh, Tahu so Master of Fire. No thanks. He's not totally. And then the anymore, other ones, okay. the mechs, are called the super protectors, <laughs> like Slime said. <laughs> oh my gosh. Super wow. duper. This is worse than. Fire. All of a sudden, this is worse than Journey. Than, this is worse than Invasion from Below now. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's like, it's like. I don't know. Hey, no, they're kids. probably just as unique as Tunnler Beast. Wait, wait. Hang on. I need to do this. Beast. I need to do this. He's hey, kids. Oh. I'm Normoto. I'm the super duper protector of fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> Just wait until you meet Captain Marble. Slime, slime, can you please do one of those, but with a different protector? Oh, we need that. Do one of what? Yeah. Do the voice. Can you, can you do one of those that I just did with the super duper protector, except with a different protector in your voice? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, we need that. Hello, everyone! It's the Sam Super Protector of Jungle Fighting Machine! Here are five evil skull spiders! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh! <laughs> if I could figure out a way to get that on my computer, I'd repeat I'm Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. Gonna be Thanks, Tim, for that email. Those are definitely interesting. Yeah. And I'm glad we got to discuss them out in the podcast. If I ever find him in the wild, I will definitely get the protector of water. And then. Oh, if you find him in the wild, you're gonna. The super duper protector of water. Throw away the rest of the parts and just. Get the mask! Them. Yes! Get the that, mask! That mask! Get the mask! Is mine. Get the mask! That ma I believe that mask belongs to That mask no. is mine! <laughs> Moving uh, on, we have another email I wanted uh, to answer during the podcast, and this one comes from our old pal, Bionicle Fan One. Oh, oh, hey, hey. Hey. No one knows who he is, but we I do. know who he is. We know cool. who you are. 
Anyway. Not to be creepy or anything. Oh, right. Now, here's his email. Imagine Bionicle G1 or G2 has a comics line. Ooh. What do? company should make them? What characters should get their own books? Um, so I'm thinking he's talking about not like if it was as it is now, but if Bionicle as wasn't a Lego toy line, but a comic line. I mean, like, oh, be... DC. Marvel. Marvel. No, no, Image Comics. Image Comics. I will say, though, I'm more happy with the direction DC is taking with their comics lately than Marvel. No, you're just well, excited the for movies DC are Marvel Rebirth. better. Yes, I am. I'm very excited for that. For what? What? DC Rebirth, their, um... They're doing oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Undoing New 52. Are you kidding me? Really? That's a good retconning. Jeez. Oh. No one likes New 52. Anyway, no, New so 52 they're... is why I just stopped following DC altogether. Oh. <laughs> I don't even think I was ever following. And they're finally, and unlike Marvel, who's literally saying, "Let's, hmm, what should we give everyone? Let's give them every single line they could possibly ask for." DC is actually limiting <laughs> their comic titles, hmm. so there's some thing because I don't need to pay for 300 number ones each week. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, Com so I think we, I think this discussion deserves that we start off with each one, but let's start with G2 first to mix things up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Should we just go down the line? No, I want to go first. Yeah. I guess not. Let's just go. Here, Clenda, we're going to organize this so everyone gets a chance to speak. Um, we're going to go down the line oh, starting with Ford and we'll first, choose, no let's say, be everyone able to speak. I okay. see how okay. so for, oh, only two? Aw, oh, man. I had three in mind. Gold, darn it. So I was going to say, like, one for the Toa. One for the protectors, and one for the for like a select group of villagers. Hmm. So you're thinking Chronicles a lot of line company. of group comics. Not so much the Chronicles Company, but it's it's yeah, the more like group comics. It's like the characters, the way they're made, they can work off of each other. So yeah, like, I like the group interaction. To have them like to have like Tahu alone, it would just be a pull or maybe like to have like Pohatu alone would just be like reading a Batman comic. Well, <laughs> it, as we have them now, it might be. But yes, I think if they redid it into this the style, really insane skull slicer. Yes, <laughs> who has currently painted his face white, and he becomes Scorpion Man for his fear of scorpions. <laughs> He's not afraid of scorpions. He just doesn't. like I must like... ask Pohatu, why scorpions? Why not? I fear them. <laughs> and they you fear him too. In the desert, there are scorpions in the desert. If you've ever so sat on a right scorpion, you understand why scorpions not like are I mean, hey, hey, if I had those skull Scorpios running after after me, Wait, Pod is not afraid scared. of scorpions. He's afraid of Scorpios. There's a difference. No, well, he he's not afraid the of same them. He's, he's no, no, he them. specified before, I hate Scorpios. And he's also specified, mm. I don't like scorpions, okay, in the TV but show. But in the animations, he literally said, I hate Scorpios. That's what I but, just like. Scorpios, Scorpios and scorpions, on, they're basically the same thing except Scorpio, one has a clamp you want tail. Confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Slime? What two titles would you choose to get a run? Uh, I'd probably. I, I, I'd find a comic about um, Ikimu and Makuta's backstory interesting. Which actually mm. comes out this Forgetting month. One oh, oh, that's right. Ooh. I forgot. The graphic novel. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey. Perfect. Yeah, yeah you didn't know novel, that, Clinda? Novel, no, novel. I didn't know that. Well, it's a, we'll yeah, get to see it's a prequel Evelyn with the, the protectors of old and faces. Ikimu and Makuta. I mean, I knew basically... I'm gonna pre-order this right now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, get in the loop. This is my loop. Anyway, Slime. Uh, yeah, I, I mean... Um, I had another one. Oh, that's what it was. Uh, I think a comic that focused around Umarak could potentially be interesting. <sighs> yeah, Umarak. Because he's got a lot of... I think potential that is a little untapped. Yeah, I I'd agree. It could be like <laughs> since he's now about to Yeah, it could be like a series where it's like to be like after Umarak the Hunter ends, it's like to be continued in Umarak the Destroyer, and that could be like the end of his arc at the end of that or something like that. Mm. That'd be cool, right? Right. Yeah. Umarak will Maybe. return in the event. Of course, I don't know. <laughs> I doubt Umarak the Destroyer in actual canon is gonna last for long at all. I would destroy you. Whoops! The, the toy nope. fix it so that whenever Umarak becomes angry, he becomes Umarak the Destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Clenda? Then what we have you Planet Umarak, the Incredible Destroyer. <laughs> Planet Umarak. <laughs> World War Umarak. <laughs> world Breaker Umarak. Umarak the World Breaker. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what about you, Clenda? 
What two tiles would you choose? Glenda? She's vanished from the face of the earth. She <laughs> okay, got Lena, you get to go. I wonder if their internet connection went out. Might have. Oh well, Leo, we're going to you then. Alright, well first I would have this done by IDW. I With the Transformers. Cool. Robots and, uh, in disguise. TNT and G.I. Joe. Real hmm. American heroes. But I was thinking something like uh, Skull Slicer and Skull Basher. Skull Villains for Hire. <laughs> <laughs> Parody. Yes. And, um, hmm, what would be another one? Well, of course, it'd have to be a Bionicle main run. Couldn't forget that. Yeah, so like the Toa, or something like that. Hmm, with the main story. But, uh, what would be a good side story? Protectors. Villagers. Um, Umarak. <laughs> Bingzak. <laughs> oh, I was gonna suggest so Bingzak. <laughs> Bingzak, defender of the jungle region. <laughs> And we see Bing Zack becomes no, really no, dark no, no, and edgy because his parents Bing, died Bing at Zach's. the hands of the Skull Spiders. No, they didn't. They were safe. <laughs> Bing Zack's, no, there was never confirmed. Uh, wild jungle yeah, where he uh, beats all the creatures. Bing Zack confirmed for being Molly from the Jungle Book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bing Zack meets the tiger Sheer Khan. <laughs> Bing Zack becomes Batman because his parents were killed. <laughs> That's what I just said. <laughs> But no, not just any Batman. He's going to become the really edgy Batman. Oh, man. As Bat. <laughs> and then he'll use guns. Okay, we're going to take a quick break here as we sort out this issue with Lena and Klenda. So, break music. And we're back after double suiting those audio difficulties. Stupid, stupid. We hope you enjoyed the music. Yes. So, Let anyways, now, Glenda, we can get back to your <laughs> turn. You what? Down. No. <laughs> While you were gone, um, Leo suggested that we have that we have the Bionicle main run and Bing Zack issue number one. <laughs> yes. But I I propose we change the title to Bing's angsty Bing Zack number one. <laughs> what? No, it should be the, the totally awesome Bing Zack. <laughs> totally super mega awesome fantastic adventures of Bing Zack. Oh, 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 and after this one ends, can we make the superior Bing Zack? <laughs> <laughs> the amazing Bing Zack. The superior Bing Zack. Um, no, then this one, Bing Zack is fighting Skull Slicer. Ultimate and Bing just, Zack! Skull Slicer switches his mind with Bing Zack, and just as Bing Zack oh dies... God. He goes, it transfers his memories of his parents to Skull Slicer in his body, and Skull Slicer realizes he must be the superior Bing Zack. <laughs> <laughs> there needs to be a video of this. No, there doesn't. There does. There needs not to be. So anyway, Glenda, what two runs would you choose? I feel like this is like the okay, superior would... Larry the Laptop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. So I would have something a little bit different. I would have a main series talking about basically the Telling the main story. Yeah, we and suggested I would also have... that. Yeah, we are. No, no, yeah, but, that was kind but of as the second thing, having like special editions where it like focuses an, on like a one Bionicle annual character. number one, Bionicle annual number two. <laughs> no, no, less of an annual. Bionicle but... versus the Sinister Six. <laughs> 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 so like Rack events. Uh, interesting. And what about you, Lena? Lena? Uh, hmm. Do I need to Dead throw a coin? not here? good. <laughs> She's looking at me like, give me ideas, and I'm like, nope. Just go with the same well, ideas? No, I'm looking at her and mouthing the words. I forgot what the question was. <laughs> really? <laughs> good dream. Lena, what do you do while we record these podcasts? I am <laughs> blankly at the screen. <laughs> Hold on a minute. What other time? Lena, what are you doing on this site? I was... I opened up... Okay, moving on. on. Lena, you we, we forfeit. Need to move along. We, we have other things along. to talk about. <laughs> okay, my turn. So, first off, I think there has to be a Tahu Master Fire run. No. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's the red one. I would be yes, horrible, he's but the I red know guy. that Lego would do that. It would, it would sell well, and that's... Oh, well, Lego's like not doing this one. I'm going to choose Dark Horse to run Bionicle Comics. Dark Horse yes. would be fun. Hmm. Okay. Dark Horse lost Star Dark Wars. Horse ha. Just... <laughs> yeah, because yes. Disney bought it. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah, I think Dark Horse would do well with a Bionicle run. I like IDW. <laughs> Anyway, so then for my secondary one, I think we all know what this has to be. It has to be Keytar. Um, somehow I knew you were going to Can you to not make it that. a joke? No, wait, shouldn't and, like, it be like a bun on the windfish? You know, yeah, as serious as Bionicle could be with its magic and robots. Keytar has a very, yeah, Keytar yeah, is a very yeah, emotionally yeah, deep yeah, character. Yeah. He's suffered abuse and abandonment. All and the other going creatures have disowned him. Face the challenge. Being oh, a still freakishly oh, yes. and of course, scorpion thing. The windfish has to get its own. Yes. No, the windfish doesn't get its own run. The windfish is too mythical for getting its own run. They got to search for the windfish. It would be a storyline. No, I, I just thought it would of be a, a story I just thought of a new title. Um, My Uncle Two and One, just like the old Marvel comics they had. Hmm. <laughs> well, I think maybe oh, like, we can make you know a Kita um, storyline. No, no, the wind so it's like we have to find a Kita because it's like the most amazing creature ever. It's yes, gonna help um, us. It's the, basically the, God. <laughs> there's the story arc, um, Bionicle Infinity Windfish. <laughs> Whoever oh, controls the Windfish <laughs> controls the universe. Right. And you have to find the five oh. other creatures to put into the wind. Yes! Now, though, <laughs> we're not done with this question. Windfish. Now we go to an interesting <laughs> one as well. Okay. Bionicle G1, where this one I think we have a bit more room to be really oh, serious because there's a lot of options. Go down series. the line again. Oh, yes. Okay, so Ford. Let's start oh, with you. No. Lena, please start thinking about the question now. I think maybe at that point you may as well just do comic book a adaptations of like some of the serials. <laughs> It's like, I, hmm. I don't know what well, other Well, let's, let's assume here tell. that it's, like, going to continue off where Bionicle ended. That Bionicle would be the most... Yeah, they tried that, and it failed after 2011. <laughs> well, let's say... It, I don't care. We're going off this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like... You know, for all the alternate just, universes... Fine, it doesn't have, have to be... It, it just, just make it fit into what we haven't gotten already. Let's not retread. Uh... That's Perhaps you could just retell the story from a different universe, where different things happen at every turn. I mean, like you could um, do that, a, yes. a while ago they did this thing called I think it was called Star Wars Infinities, where it was like it was a bunch of what if scenarios. Like um, mm. if Luke had missed uh, the shot at the end of A New Hope, ah. then hmm. this stuff would happen. Or like if he, uh, Darth Vader was redeemed, stuff like that. So I think what maybe if, you could do something like that Skywalker where it's like had not done it. <laughs> or like what <laughs> if Luke Skywalker had turned to the dark side? Something like that. Um like with Bionicle you could do like What if George what Lucas if... did not rewrite episode six? <sighs> <laughs> what if <laughs> Kama actually <laughs> stayed evil or, and took over the Vizorak? What if it was Matau? What if Matau turned oh, evil? Yeah. It should have been Matau. Yeah. Yes. So, so perhaps you could do something like that. It, it would just be a bunch of what ifs. Like, uh, what if Tahu... Hmm. Like, I remember at the beginning of the first book, Tahu, like, contemplated turning evil or something like that, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Like, what if Tahu was kind evil? Kind of. What if Tahu was evil? Not what evil, if the... exactly. Just more like animal. Destroying. Yeah, what if that's what Tahu did instead of, like, other things, like, be Tahu the Destroyer, number one. <laughs> like, Interesting. Yeah, just make it a whole bunch of what-if scenarios, and people would love it. I really, what about you, Slime? I, I do like that concept, because it's, it's some, some of the serials with Takanuva sort of touched upon that with, you know... Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Like, what if uh, Matoro didn't Mira save Matanui? Mm -hmm. Um... What if new? As as, as 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 cliched <laughs> as it sounds, I feel like a comic series about the Dark Hunters could be very interesting. Yeah, the Dark Hunters would make a really cool series. The, the Dark Hunters were always my favorite group out of the Bionicle G One universe. I don't know. I just I think it would be really cool to see, like different. I almost just said different heroes, but <laughs> not really heroes. Uh, different <laughs> villains going bounty yeah, hunters. Bounty hunters. Going out and doing their thing, like assassinating stuff, like <laughs> stealing and like pillaging and Going all that. On missions, yeah. taking what they can, give nothing back. 
I hope someone got that quote. It's a slightly modified version. Oh, I got it. <laughs> we got it. Interesting. What do you have for your second run, Slime? Um, I feel like a series talking about Botar's Ooh, species. Mm. Ooh. Interesting. Like, oh, how yeah, do they live? Like, don't they just like have the innate series. ability to just um, teleport? Yeah, like he's saying Botar. I'd want a series about the Order of Mananui. And like maybe like a yeah, select okay. a select That's group true. of agents. Axon, in there. agent of Oom. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I'm totally making a, a pretend poster for agents that. of Helrix and her howling commandos. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, what about you, Clenda? Um. Well, one thing that would be interesting to see would be a group, a story about a group of Matoran who were trying to escape from Karzani. Chronicles other than Jalar's company. Oh, I love that. But some le- that are like trapped on Karzani, and one of them is the Matoran that Jalar and company later meet. Ooh, yes. Insane one? That would yeah. be epic. Yeah, and we find out how he we went insane, what his history was, and who he originally was. Oh, mm. yes. And the other one I'd like is just a personal preference. I'd like a story about the Toahaga, like their origins and what they mm-hmm. did. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Sounds cool. And Lena, did you think of something this time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I was... Actually, Kalenda stole my mind idea with something having to do with Karzani, so I'll have to do with the... Vantoka on this one, and mm. the Mystica. The mm. Makuta or so the like Toa? of Cardanui. <laughs> no. So, the Makuta. No, or so the like Toa? Yeah. No, we could get so like spam. Praise so like. No. <laughs> no, that's that's a comic series. Praise so like. Praise so like yes. number one. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to bleep that out. No, it, it's like the All Hail Lord Megatron. <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it would be like um, it was like King I some am other. <laughs> what about you, Leo? I think that uh, Hydraxon Keeper of the Pit would make a good series. Mm. Yes, that would make it really because yes. Hydraxon kind of almost did get his own run back. He got one comic dedicated to himself, oh, yeah, he's and that was one of the best comics. Mm. I'm trying to remember what one that was. Was that one of the graphic novels? Yeah, it yeah. was in the back of the graphic novel. Actually, can I just say an extra one that might be interesting? Sure. Okay. okay. Um, one about what happens to Liwa after he was stranded on that planet. Usually he was attacked by the natives, what? who took him to the Ewok village to roast him over a spit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Until he, he uses eaten his power of teddy bears. to make him think he was magic. And then they worshipped him as their deity. <laughs> <laughs> and then they thought that he was a master of jungle or something, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's a little then, too far fetched. Stop it with the G two connections. They're different. So what were you've only done one, didn't you? Yeah, I've only Leo? done one. Then um, Okay, what would you have for your second? Second one Bezon Toa of Anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Bezon Toa of Anarchy like was his adventures <laughs> throughout the dimensions. <laughs> Then I was thinking yeah, of... Yeah, it would be like the Deadpool of Bionicle. But, no, speaking of Deadpool, I was thinking of a Deadpool. third one that'd be a graphic novel. Hmm, what's that? The answer kills the Bionicle universe. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, did you read Be- Deadpool Kills the Marvel no, Universe? No, I watched Comics Explained. Oh, I actually did too, but it was a great story. It was a depressing story. But it was I funny, it especially the one where he starts going back even further and goes into classic books. <laughs> oh yeah, he kills Captain Ahab. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Ahab? Oh, man. Yes. yeah, from Moby that Dick. That's kind of far back, isn't it? You've never. No, I know. You've never read <laughs> Moby Dick. Of course, I've read Moby Dick. Oh man, you've been. Oh, you poor child. <laughs> I said, of course I have. You know, Moby Dick. Not, Moby I... Dick could have benefited from being funnier. <laughs> <laughs> it was about a guy who got his leg ripped off. Of course, it, it could have been. It could have benefited from being less boring. That's just me. <laughs> I on, I hardly ever read way. classic books. You should. Look at it this I way. Just I also don't, read just, the just don't read Moby Dick. <laughs> read, Look at it this way. Read Moby Dick or instead. Or the shipwrecked mariner. Uh, or the the rhyme of the ancient mariner. Which one's uh, more depressing? The submariner. 
<laughs> no, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Go look it up. Uh, maybe. No what one else has read that. That's... It took me nine months to finish reading Aragon. Really? <laughs> I think, yes. I don't oh, that read book quickly. Was so boring. I have quite enough to read right now. I love Aragon. I don't... So, I think it's my turn, though. Yes. I believe it is. Yeah, I think so. Okay, my first series now. I think um, this is one that everyone d didn't think about. Ah, uh, of course, I have a hard time remembering the team name. Lee Can's team the needs its own series. Man Did guy, you just yes. Say Lee Can. Lee Can, yes. You said no, Lee Can. Hail Lee. Can. Hail Lee. Hail it's like Lee. Lee Can or Pecan. Hail They're both Hail right. Hail Lee. I had Hydra. What? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think they need their own series. That that's a very untouched section of the Bionicle story, and it would work great in comics. Yes, because form. we need to know the main guys' crazy. masks and the names of their weapons. And yes, because that's <laughs> totally useful information in the year two thousand fifteen. The only thing I know about them is that there were four toe of ice on their team, and I keep on picking who yes, needs four Yes, because they need them to take down. They well, they need them to take down the dragon, Leo. Life, the dragon. They needed to take down a fire breathing dragon. So obviously, ice dragon. is the thing that you want more of. Because, you know, yes. water doesn't make any sense. Pfft. No. What's water? Ice is colder than water. I, but why, were they trying to like put it to sleep anyways by putting it like hibernation? I like drinking the water. Ice. Man, it's a story for kids. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or you can't use that excuse. Besides, everyone knows Bionicle is not for kids. Yes, it's, yes it is. Don't be crazy. It's dark it was made by like a it's meant for kids. And it's You're just edgy, like my brother. And dark. Oh, With all the this chains is totally and the random. Before, the remember teeth. the other day when we were talking about how you really wanted a Jet Rex, and now I was looking at an eBay and I found the yellow one. Yeah. Well, my brother bought it, <laughs> so now <laughs> in our house there are three Jet Rexes. Okay. You know, I, 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 I saw the Jet Rex. I saw the yellow Jet Rex in a store. Can you? I got it for fifty dollars, the original price. That was with can shipping. Can you send it yeah. from, to me from a birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ford, it's not mine. My brother paid for it. Can I just used my credit card. Can he send it to me from a birthday? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so for my final run, I think Brutaka. Brutaka needs Brutaka, series. Agent of oh, that Asgard. Would be... I would... <laughs> that would be cool. Oh. Brutaka is one of my favorite characters in Bionicle. He's very interesting, Brutaka's and I'd love to awesome. see him get his own series. No one's talking, thinking about a Pridax series? Pridak. Pridak isn't Pridak. as amazing. Oh, Pridak. Pri I always forget Pridak. about Pridak. Cool you think Pridak is cool? Fights. Have you heard? Hang on. Have you heard of Mantax? Mantax yes. is awesome. Mantax is terrible. Yes. He's Baraki literally were all terribly the Chuck underused. Norris of Bionicle. Mantax is a bottom feeder. Every time you say the word Mantax... Someone making... dies because they know Mantax. how awesome Mantax is. Every time I and say the name Mantax, Mantax, I think of the time how when Jaller Tarboiled him. Is. <laughs> Underwater. Elik is still my favorite because he looks cool. Rydak is bestest Baraki. He has waist articulation. <laughs> Wait, Prydak has waist articulation? Yes, yep. best, I never got Prydak. best Baraki. Did you never watch the recap <laughs> review? Nah, Mantax uh, I watched amazing. some of them. I don't watch recap reviews. I think I, I, I did watch all of them that year, but I don't remember Pride. Oh, yeah, because LJ made the joke about they say that this isn't supposed to be blood, but we all know it's supposed to be blood. Sure it is. <laughs> it no, is. Yeah, Why it else is. would it be on its claws and its <laughs> face? My eight-year-old self never thought of that, you know. I did. <laughs> Come on, guys, we all know there's blood. <laughs> <laughs> That's something to ask Gray. Do Bionicles bleed? Do I do you bleed? Leo, Greg, th people yeah, have already asked that question. The answer is no, they don't have blood. They have a uh, fluid substance like blood, but it's not red. Yeah, I imagine. You know what color is it? Huh? That's very useful you know information. Know. Just like what you know weapons what the Toa Man guy use. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was been answered too far. I think it's transparent. Oh. Well, that's dumb. It's like do the bleeding you bleed, water. You will. <laughs> Once Wait, no, this. no, no. The, the, the question and answer combo are Do you bleed? Apparently, yes. Yes, he does bleed because we all saw Superman 2. <laughs> no, I didn't. You're bringing up what? Superman 2 as an example? What? Yes, Superman 2. I watched Near that again the other night. Zod. 
Okay, I think it's about time to get to the game. And games are back. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't Finally, there's a regular thing with real guest? scores because I had what? Lena go and find what our board? old scoreboard. Hear over Hang our on. Feet. Aren't we forgetting about our very special guest, Political Slime? Oh, what, oh what, yes, what, I explained what, to him. What's the political Gordon, slime? I think I explained to him about the game before you got on. Oh. <laughs> I, I yes, he can still steal slime. points from us right now. But to explain the quote game to people who haven't seen it before, because let's face it, all the viewers from last time we played it are gone now. <laughs> Along with all our money. <laughs> Just yep. So, this game works like this. I will be selecting a quote from somewhere in the bionicle world of media. And Never then, heard of it. Is it Media Magna? <laughs> <laughs> What's boy you want to Anyway, go and then all of the contestants in this game will guess who said the quote. And then after we have determined who said it, they'll guess what uh, piece of Bionicle Media it is from. One point for each. Wait, so, 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 so we need to guess the character and the media, right? Yes. Yes, first yes. we guess the character, okay. and then you're free to guess the media after someone guesses the character correctly. But, so you can get a maximum of two points. One yeah, per round. And there are five rounds today. Them, I guess. So, so you're saying yeah. that at the end of the rounds, then, Ford is going to have 28 points. <laughs> yes, yes, let's review the scoreboard. Currently, We're I, not, LQ, well, have bad. seven points. Clenda, you have three points. Lena, you have yet to answer a single question <laughs> correctly. <laughs> Ford, you have 18 points. <laughs> Leo, you have eight Mace and quite... Maul, who aren't here, have three and four respectively. You're calling them Maul. <laughs> Yes. All right. I, I say that. Now. All right, Slurm. This is your chance. I say you Maul need to sometimes. Deep thrown forward. Uh, I, I will. Yes. I will earn all the points and become master of this because because I am LJ and I am a whiz at <laughs> Bionicle <laughs> lore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Here is your first <sighs> quote. A bold statement. But I can think of a few hundred reasons you are wrong. It's really annoying when I know the quote, but I don't know it. Brutaka? Nope. Axon? Nope. Zaktam? Hacken? Nope. Makuta Teradax? Nope. Nope. Helrix? Nope. Zon? <laughs> No, he's not going to do any Vezon nope. quotes. Could you repeat the quote? Yes. A bold statement, but I can think of a few hundred reasons you are wrong. I uh, am. Um, it's from 2006. Is it? Tahu? Might be, might not be. Tahu? No, no, no. no it's not Tahu. I'm pretty sure that it's one of the Paraka. It sounds like a villain, though. It... it does sound like a villain quote, and it sounds like something that one of the Paraka would say. To buy a sector all one. But someone thought... <laughs> Leo, that's cheating. <laughs> nope. Radak. Nope. Karzani? Hakam? Nope, nope. Krika. Nope. <laughs> Click. Oh, Avak? I corrects? <laughs> nope, nope. Wait, we can do multiple. Okay, I'll move give you a points. hint. It's from a comic. Don't say. Ugh, gee. <laughs> really? <Thanks. laughs> There's That's a down okay. a bit. Is it Thok? Mm. Oh. No. Dalu? Oh, nope, nope. No, no, no. Um, Balta? Uh, you guys haven't really been Jowler. getting close. No. <laughs> Takua. It I like some... New Paru. It sounds like a quote from later. It sounds like a quote from later by Takua. So it's no. <laughs> no. Um. Matora. Um, I did not think this one would be Holly. as hard as it seems to be. Mantax. No. No. Right at. Hydraxon. Nope. Nope. Nocturne. Tuna. <laughs> nope. Nope. Maxilos. Okay, come on, guys. We've spent way more time than I thought we were this We're getting behind schedule. Okay, everyone gets the one more guess. Great Ford. Artaka. Uh, Nope. Ford, your last guess. Glenda, uh, um, your last guess. Oh god. <laughs> I can't think of his name. Uh, the yellow and black Baraki. There was no yellow nope. and black Baraki. <laughs> yeah, there was. Rapar? 
That was not my guess. That wasn't actually my guess. I was just helping. <laughs> um, Leo, final guess. Elick. LJ. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lena, your final guess. I. <laughs> okay, slime. One more guess for you. I already had one guess. Oh well, your you guess. You get again. an extra. Oh, I guess I get one as as, as the guest star. Um, yes. Yep. Uh, the shadowed one. Nope. Sorry, you guys all <laughs> failed. This is a I know quote from Rudaka. Oh, oh, what the Rudaka, heck? How? Bold statement, Toahaga. This is, I don't know it's what comic the, it is exactly. But number twenty-five. Five. I'm getting this pulling it from the graphic novel, so I don't know what number of comic I got it this is. One. Wait, this was it's, Rudaka? It's the flashback. This was Rudaka. It's a flashback Rudaka. Rudaka. Oh, okay, not to Rudaka. Sell yes, uh, Leo, since you, you know the exact location from it, so I will um, give you that point. Yeah. Yes, I do know the ex It was the okay. one where they turned to the Rahaga. Yeah. Yes. That one. That was one of my favorites. Why didn't I get that? Okay, since you guys took so long on that last one, I am going to have to start limiting these rounds to five minutes or less. <sighs> Even that, and we might go over time. We're not going to have time for time. an ending email this week. We still have to interview someone. Okay. <laughs> right, everyone ready for the next quote? Yes. As ready as I'm going to be. Okay, please. I was getting out of stasis fields when you were still on Destral raising archive moles. Uh, uh, Mutron. No. Um. Um. Uh, er, uh, Tridax. Okay. Are st are, nope. Wait, wait, are where? What? Repeat the you quote. You said Arstron? Sure. Came from Arstron? No. No, no, it said, please, I was getting out of please stasis i was getting out of stasis fields when you were still on destral raising archive moles is it stasis hey, Rooney? oh yes it's probably stasis i don't pronounce things correctly <laughs> not your Rooney, is it uh, no it's not your Rooney. Uh, uh, actually five minutes like i said it'll be way too long we're going down to three minutes per round nope um Tachodox? wow i did not think all these would be as hard as they th nope Two minutes. Car bar? It's not. Nope. Two thousand. Is his it name? from? Is what's it the, what's from the name of the a red cereal? Lakota. I forgot where I pulled it from. Really? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just not gonna tell you. Tub duck? Nope. It's I'm probably from mangling that Takanuva? pronunciation. Voltres? Nope. Nope. Mazika? Sounds like another bad guy. Lariska? Nope, nope. Oh, man. Makuta? Nope. Not any of the Makuta then, huh? Krika. Goraz. Nope. Biddle. No. Antros. Kairos. Nope. Vampra. Nope. Mazeka. Nope, nope. One minute left. Detrax? No, no. Icrax. Um, nope. Gorist? I already nope. said Gorast. Oh, you did? Oh. Uh, Fifty seconds left. No. Nope. Is can I can I ask where it's from? Is it from the? I asked already. And he book? said no. Nope. Oh. I can't tell you where it's from. Sorry. Man. Okay, we have a minute left, and no one's gotten it, and it's been like three minutes. <laughs> you should give us a hint. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a hint. Fine, I'll, but it's, it'll take off the bonus questions. This is from Into the Darkness. What? This is from Into the Darkness. I've never read Into that. Maxlow. I've never read, I that, read one. that one. Nope. Nope. Uh, 25 Hydraxon. seconds left. Nocturne. Nope. Prydek. Nope. Brutaka. Winua? Yes. Yeah. Leo. yeah. It's Brutaka. <gasps> Brutaka again? Brutaka. Brutaka. Brutaka this time. Good. Leo, that puts you up to double digits. Yay. 10 points. I'm still almost at okay. 20. Okay. <laughs> How? Next quote. This one should let, be let easier, be hopefully. Again, three minutes after line. I read the quote. Yes, we do. <clears throat> no, Makuda. You once told Toama the Toamata you could not be destroyed because you were nothing. You were wrong. Montanui. It is because you are Makuda. nothing that, it's you, that it's I can destroy you. And it's you from have no uh, heart. all that glitters. No. Tahu. What? Um, no. It's it's Jolly. Mata Nui from Kopaka. Journey's no. End. No, it's not Mata Nui. How is it not Mata Nui? 
Um, is it? Onua. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, that great, that great being. Takanuva. Nope. Onua. Nope. 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 Liwa. <laughs> Pohatu. Nope. The Kama. Nope. No, they're referring uh... to the Toamata, so you know. Um, Vakama. Holly. Nope. Bing Two Zach. minutes left. Jala. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. Solak. Kitar. No. Takanuva. No. Huki. Nope. 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 Akmu. Jaller. Nope. <laughs> no. Navra. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you repeat oh, oh, the question? Garon. Brutaka. Nope. Okay. I'll repeat it one more time. No, Makuta. You once told the Toa Mata you could not be destroyed because you were nothing. You were wrong. It is because you are nothing that I can destroy you. You have no heart. Helrix? No. Uh... Artaka? Nope. There are actually two right answers to this, too. What? Um, um, uh... The Shadowed um, One. Matra? Nope. Nope. Right back. Uh, what's his name? The guy who was Makuda before Makuda. Miserix? It's not him. No. Okay. Good guy, 2006. Uh-huh. One minute left. <laughs> no. Bad guy, 2006. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gold good guy, 2006. It's a good... I know it's a protagonist. Good guy, 2008? Good guy, 2008. No. <laughs> you guys are hurting me, and I'm hurting myself. I'm hitting myself on the head. Oh, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. Click. Yes. <laughs> no, it's not click. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Black. Yes, Leo. <laughs> no. <laughs> Strangely, those are both Brickmaster power yes. bags. What is up with that? <laughs> um, I only got one. Uh, <laughs> no. Sixteen I, seconds um, left. I, I feel like this I is cannot, from like of rain of dark, time. rain of darkness, or um, rain of shadows, or something like that. No comma. No. Um. Dude, Did I get that dude. right? Mine. No. Oh man. And sorry guys, time's up. <laughs> this one was Mataro through Makuta's body from Uh Dark Mirror? And no one? Uh, yes, Dark Mirror. The hey. Kingdom Ultimate. I didn't universe. read that. I've been looking for that. Oh wait, 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 no, 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 wait. I was wrong. Not Dark Mirror. Kingdom. Sorry, Slime. The Kingdom? It is not from Dark Mirror. Oh, I got it. Yeah, that's what I meant. I knew I that. I get a point oh. of it. 19. I couldn't that. remember which was which. <laughs> yeah, they are confusing, but sadly, none of you got that. Hey, well, okay, I said the Kingdom before you did. We have two votes left did. before the end of the episode, so let's no, no, go through no, these quickly. To interview Slurm. Oh, you're right. We yeah, have how to could interview you forget? Slurm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to cut this quote game short because... We are way over time because of how long we took discussing the comics. Right. So, we're all Leo, let's interview Slime. I'm really not sure how okay. far we're going over because we had to have that well, long break. Well, we're going yeah. to cut a bunch of stuff out anyway. By we, yes, you mean me. You. <laughs> okay. okay. Just, just cut out literally everything that I said in this podcast. <laughs> okay, let's cut it out and like do this thing. Like a surgeon. Yep, Leo. Okay, so. It's Surgeon Simulator. Slime. Uh, how, how have you been? Uh, I have been okay, all right. T- t- tell the people what you do. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Political Slime, and I am an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not the You way. did the same thing on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, come to be a fist. You should be us. Uh, in, all, in all seriousness, um, I'm Slime. I'm a moderator on the DTV message boards. I'm a former current... Not quite sure which is more relevant. Uh, member of the CHC. Um, I am a current member of the TTV Modcast. Um, I have my own YouTube channel. Where he killed uh, LJ. Yeah, that's pretty much pretty much what I do. Very impressive list of credentials, Slime. Hmm. I have like two credentials, none of which are very good, and Q hates me for one of them. What Wait, are- what's your other credential? I don't know about. Was that on your resume? <laughs> Yeah, that was one was on my resume. The one that you did like is me editing podcasts. <laughs> what Wait, that? what was the one I didn't like? Me being a ship ninja. 
I'm pretty sure I only have. I like, apologize one... for the people who think I'm swearing. No, I'm saying the word S H I P. Yeah, together. people keep doing that every time someone uses the word ship as in boat or ship as in the, the <laughs> thing I don't like. <laughs> they think Sklenda is swearing for some reason, and no, she's not swearing. I'm pretty sure the only like thing on my resume that was of interest for me to be here was the Wait, fact that I had... Bored. You were the reason I started having resumes, because I realized I did not know enough about you when I hired I, you. I, I yeah, I think it was... Be I think the main thing, if... I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, pretty sure the main thing was the fact that I am, like, one of, like, five people in the known world to own pretty much every Galador figure. <laughs> Yo, yeah, that was a big thing. <laughs> and you wanted me to do reviews, and hey, but, look, I'm doing it. But this is, not about, yes. this is not about... Which you, you have now. Slurm. Yes, yes. We'll so Slurm, you, when I first saw you on the TTP message boards, you were Toa Nuju something or another with this weird Matatu paste over John Cena or something? Uh, it was just some <laughs> uh, some random muscular guy what? that I found. Um, oh, I had almost for I'd forgotten so about how, that. How did you uh, become? I'll, I'll link a picture of it. In what the transformed chat. you into political slime? Did you go to Tibet and join the League of Slime Assassins? Um, Were well, it's, it's a bit of an monster? interesting story because um, I changed to political slime mainly because I was in the uh, the Metronui build crew at the uh, time yes. in Minecraft I... and. Uh, I was political slime was my Minecraft username, and every time I'd go on there, people would be like, "Oh, it's political slime. Who are you on the boards again?" So then I was <laughs> just kind of like, "Oh, well, maybe I should, you know, transition into that." So then I transitioned into being political Nuju for a while, and then eventually, hmm. oh, I remember that I was political slime, which I agree is yeah, a much that's better name than generic Ko Nuju. Yes. <laughs> it, yeah, Toa Nuju makes me think of the guy that has name is Mataro forever. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Good old TMM. Thankfully, he's uh, banned now. Oh, he is. Permanent. I did not hear about that. Speaking yeah, of uh, you being able to use the ban hammer, um, I don't know if this is like cutting into your story or anything, but how exactly did you become a mod? Um. Well, it's an interesting story. It's <laughs> um, you have a lot most of... of it is most of it is classified. Um, but uh, basically, the gist of it is that I was a, a notable user at the time. I flagged a bunch of stuff. I made a lot of posts. Um, Isn't that how most people become mods? There, flag a bunch of double. That's posts. That's how Kronk became a mod. <laughs> Yeah, that's how Chron Chronicler gets got like in easy. Like he was, like he flagged like a like single a post, and then Kahi was like, hey, get, you you want to be a better Yeah, character? it was a day after he. <laughs> uh, it was a day after he got into an argument with lime flavored libertarian. Oh, I've done that before. I'm totally qualified to be a mug. <laughs> No, I didn't get into argument on the TTV message board though. He he was in my chat room for a while. He's not allowed there anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, and it, it also helped when I had, like, all four of the mods at the time were, like, good friends with me, so... <laughs> that that helped. That helped a bit. Actually, was it... I guess it was five at the time. Yeah, it was, like... Um, it was, uh, Nyron, MT, Chronicler, Watch, was, and I, Star, I think, yeah, Skirillion. was on at the time. That's right, because I remember you made the oh, yeah. uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja oh. Mod Squad video subsequently. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. Oh, I forgot he used to be a mod. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I should move on before I say something. Yes. I know he used to be a mod. <laughs> so... Okay. Leo, do we have any last questions for yes. Slime? We gotta wrap up soon. What were you soon. thinking when you made the video with Oculus Nuva reviewing Oculus Nuva? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's it's a bit of a fun story. So Oculus and I, we live in the same relative area to each other, like within an hour drive. So it's not that bad. So I've gone up That'd and visited nice with him a couple times. Did that. <laughs> and so the last time that uh, we did that, he was like, "We should totally do a Slime reviews of something." And so then. Um, he, he was like, oh, uh, I was like, well, what if we do my review of your mock? And then he said, oh, well, what if 
we do a review of my mock. And so then <laughs> we just sort of played along with that. It was like 9 o'clock at night. And we're just screaming. And it... <laughs> I really love the end of that review because you can listen to what I'm saying. If you can, so in, in, in the slime voice, you can barely understand what I'm saying normally. Um, but legitimately, <laughs> the end of that video, I was saying gibberish. I was not saying that the slime voice. Was that the slime voice? Sorry, what were you saying? Sorry. Hmm? But I, I want to know. The, that's the first time I remember uh, hearing now you're something. I this. need to know. I'm sorry, but it just. Uh, the public needs ahead, to know. Like, sorry, just... <laughs> uh, it just it just cut out for me anyway. Um, I will sacrifice my father S W to what? you. <laughs> what? I just want to know what he said. <laughs> All I was saying is that at the end of that video, I... sorry, ah! Gordon, you can't know what he said. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, slime for real. Uh, at the end of the video, I was just entirely speaking gibberish and not even saying actual words. I was just going like, Anyway, that's no, all the time we have on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, it's a bad back. It was, it was really feel bad. This is bad luck. <laughs> this is bad luck. Yeah, spikes. It was, it was, it was a fun edgy. time. Edgy. Edgy. <laughs> Yeah, I was know? saying that I rudely interrupted before. The first time I remember hearing your slime voice, was, I think it was on the Skull Slicer review. Mm -hmm. Right. And I don't know why I sat through the entire thing. <laughs> I could not understand a single word you were saying except for Skull Slicer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I could I need not to watch stop this. watching Someone it. Someone needs to link this to me so I can watch it. I the really thing that stuck now. with I me was... Watch it again. I may have heard your slime voice before, but what really stuck with me is when I watched your review of the... Uh, January 2015 catalog, or was that it was March that was the first one? But it was a uh, spring catalog. Yeah. Now in my head, I have bionicles. We are bion. <laughs> Just the way you said that, <laughs> it'll be forever imprinted in my brain. Okay, but for real now, we're running going over time. time. Sadly. Yep. So that's gonna do it for us today. <coughs> at bionicle. Com yes, we have time. Leo, people already complain that we go overtime. too long. Such as me, who edits the, the podcast. We have, we have a good excuse. Better go we find the Vahi. Yes, we have a good excuse, but we really should end. So that's going to do it for us today here at Bionicle Commentary Central. It's one Leo, last question. I already started the Just outro. One. Slime. Fine. What are you going to do next? I am probably going to do oh, homework. Oh, you're not going to go to... You're not going to go to Disneyland? He's not going to go to Disney World? Uh, I'm Disney going to PAX, if that counts. <laughs> Does that count? PAX. It's, it's pretty much just oh, like right. Disneyland, but for gamers, and also not Disneyland. There's, there's no, <laughs> they have sure no Zelda counts. rides. <laughs> Sadly. Uh, anyway, think if you would like to send us an email to answer on the podcast like we did in this episode today, please send us an email at bionicalcomedycentral at gmail.com. Please, can... one to three questions per email. Send as many emails as you like, but only one to three questions per email. Oh, you, you should So, for Ford, Glenda, Lena, Leo. Yes, yes we, I will we do will. that. Yeah, we should also get... And our special guest star, Political Slime. I'm LQ1998, and we'll see you I'm gonna on the try next and episode. Stretch this slime out. Goodbye! Bye! Bye.